cavity fill now we will discuss process variable during cavity fill the cavity fill event is equally critical to all die casting processes the high pressure die casting process is characterized by a fast fill time with high in gate velocity the purpose of high fill rate and high in gate velocity is to provide a net shape product with this uh, thin walls high integral integrity and the good surface finish therefore the process variable that must be watch carefully so first uh, parameter uh, during cavity fill is fill time so this is a, a amount of time to fill out the die casting part cavity this does not include the time to fill the overflow especially uh, uh, it is the amount of time to go from the metal at in gate position to the metal at overflow gate positions all right so the desired fill time should be determined prior to runner design and die build and then should be uh, controlled during the process and you can also uh, find this calculation process or calculation formula on my youtube channel or you can visit my website uh, in which you can uh, easily find the uh, software we have developed through which you can avoid all the manual calculations we have developed the sds cast 1.0 software and we have also developed for this uh, all analysis the sds kiosk so you can all the details you can find on my website www.steadydiecastingsolutions.com so the fill time will have a strong influence over the resulting casting surface finish and will affect the amount of internal porosity control of fill time is done by controlling the velocity of the plunger between the metal at in gate position and the metal at the overflow gate position the method uh, to control the fill time are open or closed loop control uh, for fill time above 0.05 second closed loop system work well however the overall best practice is to use an accurate proportional valve with open loop control many of these type of valve are available to the die casting market so another uh, process parameter during the cavity fill is average in gate velocity this is the average metal velocity through the in gate during the fill time in the process monitoring system it should be calculated by the uh, first determined q the volume of flow rate of metal and the gate area the in gate velocity is then equal to q divided by the gate area the desired in gate velocity should also be determined prior to runner design and die build the in gate velocity needs to be high enough to ensure good atomization so that the internal porosity is effectively dissipated and die erosion is minimized to calculate the average in gate velocity the average plunger velocity during cavity fill must be calculated the average plunger velocity must then be multiplied by the ratio of plunger area to gate area the atomization velocity and the gale ve gate velocity equation uh, we will also discuss later for a given gate area in gate velocity is inversely proportionate to fill time therefore if a problem exists with the in gate velocity is directly related to the fill time okay so let's discuss about another process variable during cavity fill in gate velocity at metal at gate position this value should be at least as high as average in gate velocity to assure that the cavity fill begin with an in gate velocity that provide proper initial atomization when the metal first travel through the in gate if the in gate velocity at the metal at gate position is below the desired in gate velocity the atomization uh, desired during fill may be compromised if a problem occurs with the in gate velocity at uh, metal at gate position the fast short start position is starting too late or the slow to fast acceleration is too slow now we have another process uh, variable in gate velocity at 90% fill in gate velocity in gate velocity at 90% fill this is a very important parameter uh, because near the end of cavity fill the resistance to flow increase significantly the increased resistance often causes the plunger velocity to drop and the in gate velocity to drop if this drop is significant at the metal flow may no longer be atomized 
if this happen there will be an increase in dye erosion depending upon the part size and geometry therefore it is important to monitor this velocity and correct the machine problem if necessary so that the dye erosion problem may be addressed now let us discuss about discharge coefficient during cavity fill the discharge coefficient is uh, the hydraulic efficiency during the cavity fill time this value uh, you, uh, you can find in formula as a CD and this uh, has a no uh, unit alright so for aluminium you can consider this value uh, should be 0.5 for cold chamber and 0.65 for hot chamber ok so research uh, have shown that the CD is rarely this uh, high is the either process CD as uh, also is a critical when ability PQ square graph is determining the angle of the die performance curve as you can see in this figure to calculate CD the process monitoring system must accurately calculate the head side pressure average during cavity fill the rod side pressure average during cavity fill and the average in gate velocity so cd should be calculated every shot and tracked by spc within the uh, process monitoring a standard for the minimum value cd should be established see the calculation for cd will uh, in later As a rule, uh, thumb rule, a good cold chamber standard minimum uh, would be uh, between 0.3 to 0.36 and good hot chamber standard uh, minimum would be between 0.45 to 0.5. If the CD uh, falls below the minimum that uh, indicates the excessive shot and force is required to achieve the desired fill velocity, this may result in lower than desired fill time or flashing problem. All right, this is a very good statement you can note down uh, if you can able to calculate this CD value in your process die casting process so you can easily uh, able to predict uh, why your die is flashing or uh, you need uh, higher force or higher pressure to achieve this uh, desired fill time all right okay so now we have uh, another parameter vent velocity or you can say air vent velocity the vent velocity is critical to assure that the air can easily escape the die cavity without allowing metal to flash out of the die cavity the range of typically accepted vent velocity is 4000 to 8000 inch per second or you can say 100 to 200 meter per second uh, weight vent velocity below uh, this 4000 inch per second or 100 meter per second uh, indicate a large vent area which will often lead to flashing problem vent velocity above 200 meter per second uh, near the speed of sound speed of sound is between uh, 13,000 uh, and 16,000 inch per second depending upon air temperature when the uh, vent velocity exceeds 8,000 inch per second air pressure build exponentially and resist restrict the venting to calculate the vent velocity the average plunger velocity during cavity fill must be divided by the ratio of plunger area to the minimum vent opening area all right to uh, control vent velocity the vent area at the smallest opening should be accurately measured and maintained the vent opening may become smaller over time due to the die closing force deflecting and flattering the die parting surface to calculate the above cavity fill parameter several other process variable must be uh, determined the first is average plunger velocity this is the average uh, velocity during cavity fill uh, second is metal at overflow gate position the monitor must know this position to accurately calculate cavity fill variable a short monitor can calculate this by finding this impact position and thus subtracting the distance that the plunger tip must travel to fill the overflow. Third one is average head pressure during cavity fill. This value is important for the discharge coefficient calculation and uh, for short and preventive maintenance. Fourth one is average rod pressure during cavity fill. This value is important for discharge coefficient calculation and for short and preventive maintenance. 
The gate area is the sum of area of all in gate in the die casting mold. It should be measured often to assure accuracy. In a large cold chamber machine using aluminium, the gate area may need to be measured at every setup. In a small hot chamber machine using zinc, the gate area should be measured every six months to one year. The gate area is critical to the in gate velocity and discharge coefficient calculation. The fifth one is plunger area. The plunger area is equivalent to the plunger diameter squared multiplied by, by pi by 4. Vent area. The vent area is the sum of the area of all vent in die casting mold. The vent area should be measured at the smallest point because the vent velocity is important at the point of greatest air flow restriction. So now we have completed process variable during cavity fill. Now